Friends of Night here with, um, actually a YouTube Final Cut Pro tutorial. Um, basically, what in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to, um, uh, duplicate stuff. Um, this is a really easy effect, and I think, um, if you're really into special effects, you're going to be using this effect a lot. So, um, go ahead, um, I'm going to delete all my footage so that I can just show you from the beginning. So, go ahead and bring in this first clip, drag this wherever you want it to be, um, that first clip should be the one that's in the middle. This is going to be, I called the, I called this one, uh, 3 iPad. Um, go ahead and drag this clip right here on top, and drag the bottom one here, down at the bottom. This is our third clip in the file browser. Um, I'm not going to be providing this footage due to the fact that it does have some stuff in my room that I don't really get want you to see. But um, what you're going to do, you're, right here in your canvas you have these three tools. You have um, the transform, which is kind of just to make it like resize it. You have the uh, crop, which is actually what we're going to be using. And you have the distort, so that you can have um, kind of like a 3D effect to it, but we're going to be using crop. So, um, drag this line right here on the third one. So it's kind of hard to get it right here, especially since it's right at the edge of my canvas. That was just a trial and error. Ha, here we are. Here we are. Okay. Go ahead and drag this over here until the edge of the iPad. I did kind of get this off a little, so go ahead and drag it. I'm going to go ahead and drag it down a little. And kind of drag this. So that it kind of has a blend. Actually, uh, it's really good if you have a, like an edge that you can line it up to. I'm going to line this up to the edge on my iPad. Um, again, this isn't the most accurate effect. My camera did move a little bit while I was doing this. So it's m probably not going to be the most accurate. Now with the second one, go ahead and select the middle clip. I just had some slideshows going on on the iPads. And this is going to be the last time you have to trim. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's, you really have to get your mouse on that thing right there. Aha. Well, I'm actually just selecting the clip right here. Let's get that evened out right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's go ahead and get that light up. And now with this uh, left clip, this is going to be a little off, so let's go ahead and drag it up a little bit so that it looks synced up. Right here, I kind of moved the laptop that was behind, so uh, if you were really looking closely, you would notice that this is a duplication effect. But um, other than that, it actually looked really good. Um, go ahead and sync up the clips right here. There's a part in this middle clip that I don't really want to see. Because it has a picture of me on there. Yes, I'm that conceited. I have pictures of me on my iPad. And actually, it was just... Somebody sent it to me. It was a photo of me. Keep trying to set my endpoint. Uh, go ahead and hit I. Come on. Fine. Anyways, doesn't matter. It's only there for a little bit. And uh, go ahead and get this synced up real well, so that they all end at the same time. Um, one thing that I love about Final Cut is the fact that. 
when you're at the edge of another clip, it creates this little line and it's kind of like a magnet. That, I, I think that's part of the reason why they call it the magnetic timeline, but I just really like that feature. I was editing a music video of a song that I wrote in here. Um, everything went by like a breeze, except due to the fact that it hung a bit, due to the fact that I have about 4 gigs of memory in here, which is totally not enough if you're going to be doing heavy video processing work. But it's fine if you're, gonna cut, if you're just going to be on Facebook or something. But um, Let's just go ahead and preview this real quick. I mean, it looks really, it looks amazing, honestly. It's quick and... Honestly, it looks like I have three iPads. Um, uh, let's go ahead and play that full screen real quick. Keep in mind, this is running the screen flow. Okay, um... I think that effect is honestly really cool. I enjoy making it. And uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'll be back.